there's nothing more fundamental than uh, how we nourish ourselves, really. And yet we've given that responsibility away to distant farms, to an industrial system that's not working, to a system that's affecting our personal health and our global health. And, and so I think, at least I don't propose that urban agriculture or urban farms are going to feed entire cities. But I think it's really important as an example of what is possible that it gives urban dwellers a chance to have some participation in the process. We're, we're not going to be feeding the entire city of Vancouver, but we are a piece of what feeds Vancouver. In Vancouver, you know, you take what's available really to come up with the space particularly the space that's two acres, like the one we're on now, is hard to come by. So, you know, you look and you hope that you can make it work. And I think in a place like Vancouver, you have to get a little more creative. We have people going by on their bikes and walking by every day at all the farms, and they constantly, like, are asking questions and going, hey, what a good job. Man, you guys are amazing and all, you know, and that kind of feedback from the community, I don't know, it's rewarding for me, so I'm pretty sure it's rewarding for the other people out here. Well, we definitely didn't know anything about growing food when we started. All we knew is we wanted to connect with our own food and we didn't have any space ourselves to grow food in the city and we're from Vancouver and we grew up here. So we just started kind of asking people if we could farm at their house. On a daily basis working in the farms, you're gonna to talk to, you know, countless people are gonna stop and wanna talk and, and they may not even speak English, but there is that common ground that is the vegetables and you end up having a conversation somehow. It's pretty amazing how welcomed we are. A bunch of places we have like four or five gardens on the same block. Mm -hmm. We know everybody on the street, we know everyone that walks by. The people have rerouted their road, like their walk to work or their after dinner stroll or whatever and they come and chat to us and check out what we're doing and swap gardening tips. And <laughs> the people that talk to us overwhelmingly seem very supportive. Recently I um, was asked, how do you define marginalized space? And the only way I could describe it was space that wasn't being used in an innovative way or a thoughtful way. It didn't necessarily have to be space that we don't look at or space that we don't interact with on a day-to-day -day level. It's simply space that we're not really understanding its full capacity, what it can possibly be used for. And that definitely does speak to this garden space. We just kind of went through the exercise of measuring the garden space. And so it went from a 32 square foot box one year to a 250 square foot space the next year to a 1500 square foot space the next year and now you know, close to 2000 square feet. I'd say if you say you don't have enough space, um, definitely you could join a garden co-op in someone else's backyard. Um, you could at least have a box in your window to grow herbs and see what happens from there. I think for the person who says that they don't have time, I'd ask them how long they spend in the grocery store. If you can turn your hand like this, you can water a plant and it doesn't take much time. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes it takes actually starting to grow your own food to realize where other food comes from. I think it's extremely important that people become engaged in food growing because it changes the way you perceive everything. I think the first time you pull your first carrot out of the ground is you can't help but feel outside of positive environmental impacts, outside of a political perspective, you can't help but feel connected to the earth. And it's this really honest and gentle action that inspires really, really, really thoughtful um, and innovative, you know, forward thinking. And uh, it's just a really easy way to get involved that way. I mean, becoming more self-sufficient is a pretty empowered place to be. Yeah.